After recently purchasing an old fixer upper on the water to try and flip, we dove right in and started the demo process. We've been really pleasantly surprised, knock on wood, about how smoothly the demo has gone up to this point. The carpet was a breeze, the wall paneling came out without issue, and the bones of the cabin that we exposed look surprisingly great. We're cruising along and little by little figuring out how to balance this new project with our day jobs plus another cabin that we renovated, which we've been renting out. This past week, we spent a lot of time trying to coordinate logistics, which isn't exactly the most film-worthy task. I'm talking paperwork on top of paperwork for TVA approval of our modifications and phone calls and emails with a few folks who will be helping us out over the course of the build. Our friend Lowell is one of those people who y'all may remember as a general and electrical contractor. Brandon and Lowell actually met because Brandon had sold Lowell a houseboat that he had bought not long before and nonetheless was still able to turn a profit on. And here's how that went. Well, the second time I met Lowell was on the back of a pickup truck in Lowe's. Are you serious? And I thought, he was, a, I thought he was about to try to screw me out of some money. <laughs> and he was like, I called the guy you bought this boat from and talked to him last night. And I was like, Sick. <laughs> there goes that. There goes my thirty thousand dollars. There goes my thirty thousand. And he goes, well, I kind of do this for a living, and I kind of like you, so I'm going to buy this if we can work on these together. Yeah. And I was like, we always appreciate his insight into our projects because we may work hard and know a thing or two, but there's just no substitution for decades of experience. So yeah, as far as being built, it's built great. Take this uh, I so. closet out. Yeah, I just said yeah. got to that. Part. Yeah, yeah. And then you were talking bigger window here. Yeah. And yeah, then I a sliding put, glass yeah. door. Either a sliding glass door or you could put a uh, single door that's full view, have glass all the way down. Like, do like this. Okay. You know, get it up like that and then just go under it. Tape it. Yeah, I mean, tape it or take a stapler and just attach it. What it, it looks like he done was come through the top with everything and come down. Yeah, and you can do that, uh, but we have to have access, so. I mean, I know all this got to come out because he's going to, I guess he'll frame the wall and then take this out because mm -hmm. this is supporting. Yeah, but that goes all the way to, uh, goes all the way to that header. Yeah. So these trusses. So where is the peak right here? Everything's going onto those onto those girders or headers around the outside. So the only siding that'll have to be redone, that piece will come off. And uh, you'll have to extend the front side. If this comes out, that siding would go right there and there wouldn't be yep. much side. Yeah, just have to think about, you know, some way, what would be great, what would be great really, is to take that whole thing and just move it to here. You just have to, this right here, we'd have to change it. It couldn't be a, a, a piece of corner. It would have to become something that like laps over this and then laps over this. Well, it's all triangles. It's just all uh, support. Yeah, yeah, you can't. We couldn't, even if we cut it, we couldn't do any, we couldn't race it. I mean, it's already you, you lose, Oh yeah, yeah, eight yeah. Feet. You'd lose all of that. No, you can't. Because the it, you got the gusset plates and everything, and when you start changing that, you're gonna change that triangle and you're gonna lose your, it'll spread. Now for this tongue and groove lull, I'm gonna need to knock all these in or pull them out. The nails? Yeah. You eat one. And then, are we going to just leave this? I'd really not. Because that doesn't have a lot of insulation value. It's probably like five or maybe even a little less than five. You should say R. God, it's got to be better than that R8 I had, right? Yeah, but it ain't much. So two inches is 10. Is so, 10. so he had it where it was 20 if he had mm -hmm. it doubled. Mm -hmm. And typically what we put in 30. is uh, 30. So is it better, once I pull all this out, pull the pink out, let your boy do the T and G, after we gotta get the walls in obviously to do all that. And wire it. But, and wire it, but we need to, can I just come in the roof and lay the R30 on totally, top yeah. of everything? Yeah. 
and just walk the truss. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it would be so much, it'll make such a difference in here if you have good insulation. All I know is that little green one versus that one, that's huge. Oh, yeah. Huge. And the full blown sun over there, it's 70 in that. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. It, it's so cool. It, ceiling insulation is where you uh, want to spend money. Yeah. All right. So we'll do that. Bar 30. Probably you're going to bring a wall out to what? There'll be that, that that's going to definitely be the bathroom because the shitter's already there. Mm -hmm. So when this wall pushes over, it'll. Mom's, I asked her about it yesterday. She's drawing it out. But she was saying something like this side of the house is living room, all that. We may have the bedrooms here. We don't want to walk through a bedroom to get into the bathroom. But there'll be some type of two walls in here to make a bedroom, two bedrooms. If we do one bedroom, we're gonna lose money. Yeah. Well, and it's 400 square feet. If you can keep, so that kitchen, you've gotta get that drain to this holding tank. Bathroom, you walk in, you turn left, uh, the toilet's right here, and you walk into the shower. And then that plumbing, all this plumbing's right under there anyway. Yeah. So we can tie the kitchen sink in and everything in. Yeah, I definitely think you're, uh, you know, using your head by keeping all your uh, kitchen and bathroom. It makes it here. easier. A lot. Like on ours, that was so much easier. Yeah. So you run the pipe right to here, and it can have the valve to go in. Right? Mm -hmm. Bathroom pipe, same way. Well, so you've already got plumbing to that kitchen sink. So. Yep. So it's either change the kitchen, or you can put the kitchen up there and move the bathroom over to here. I, I think we just kitchen bathroom okay because it's all right here yep everything's here so you can bring your vanity yeah the vanity the shower and the kitchen sink all in one line yep you see what i'm yep. saying because every, if everything's over here with kitchen sink vanity shower you bring all, it all over here you've got a you've got a ton of room over there for two bedrooms yeah I mean, that's a especially lot once we go out four feet yeah, I think one master bedroom and one with bunks in case people have kids or friends or whatever yeah. is good. Smart play because you walk in and you see kitchen and living room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like what we got going Right, on. you don't want to walk in and see bedroom or bathroom. Yeah, and all this shit's open. You know, this is yeah. Yeah. all open yeah, right here. Open. I mean, it's, when you knock four more feet out there, this is going to be huge. Right. And this bedroom doesn't have to be symmetrical. You know what I mean? So yeah. this bedroom can be a little bit deeper, come this way a little farther. And so you've got a wall that comes oh, over, boy. juts in, and then goes to that bedroom. Yeah. yeah. After a successful brainstorming sesh, we got back to work the following day, stripping down the rest of the ceiling and removing insulation, both from the ceiling and from the wall that's going to be pushed back. Between the insulation, the 90 degree heat, and the biting flies that are plaguing our lake this time of year, I hope you guys can appreciate what an itchy job this was. But first things first, banjo time.
That's what Akitas do when they get excited. They go. the roof or the ceiling the ceiling get the ceiling out go to town get gas for the other house let's see here get some tva paperwork done get some marina paperwork done get a haircut get thank a god haircut. holiday weekend coming up got to prep all the fun activities <laughs> let's see here yep just another day off sometimes i just want to lay down and look at the clouds but tell them about the tva paperwork and how that fits into the timeline so because we're adding to this house we've got to apply to tva for alteration because we're going to do an alteration by adding an extra wall out on that house we're staying in the monolithic footprint so it's not a big big ordeal to do it plus this house doesn't have any open docks around it so you're allotted up to 400 square foot of open dock so we're permitting that that costs 500 dollars and this thing will be, uh, once they approve it, that'll be getting us close to getting the framer here and doing these windows, doors, framing it out. And uh, we're waiting on a quote from the dock builder to come do the docks, uh, or not the docks, but the floats under the house. We've got to replace these floats. We want to do it before we start building on it because right now we took all the weight out of it and now that house doesn't weigh anything but the structure and the floats came up four or five inches so it'd be a lot easier for the builder to get the floats out of the house one step at a time but we'll eventually get this thing so it begins again try and get all this insulation to the trailer without losing any of it. As you can see, it's pretty windy today. I listed this stuff on like Facebook Marketplace and our Instagram and everything. Just if anybody wanted to come get it because I would hate to just waste all this. So I think we actually do have a couple of people that are going to come pick it up out of the parking lot today off the trailer. So that makes me feel better. We spent the rest of the day in town filling up our propane bottle, getting Brandon a haircut. Oh, Give me a little 360. Uh, it wasn't aerating. 
beautiful baby you're stuck. And finally, meeting up with the new owners of our Supreme for dinner. As always, sad to see another beautiful boat go, but on the upside, these two actually have a floating cabin down the lake, so I'm sure it's not really goodbye. It's just see you later. And on a less sentimental, more practical level, we're very happy to be putting a little bit of cash back in our pockets. We're gonna need it for the countless trips to Lowe's that inevitably lie ahead. So happy to have y'all along for our journey. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next Friday. This old man Jones report, over and out, Roger Dodger.